गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट फ्यू डेज वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ पोएम वन नो एक्सप्लेनेशन हैव ऑलरेडी डन एंड इवन द लास्ट डे आई हैव सेंड अ वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ द चैप्टर नो फ्यू क्वेश्चंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड नाउ द अनदर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नंबर सी क्वेश्चन व्हिच वर्ड इन द पोएम टेल्स अस अबाउट द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइम ऑफ डे यू हैव सीन इन द पोएम व्हेन यू विल रीड द पोएम Uh, you will get to know maximum time the times of day is mentioned like morn noon down dusk sorry dawn it's dawn dusk and afternoon these things are mentioned in the poem so we can find out it's it comes under the times of day roads roads are already mentioned road street here t is a inverted comma is a the the other side of the way row or crescent these are the types of road which is mentioned in the poem motions are interactions are indications recognitions courtesies showing knowing traveling locomotions mail news beautiful ease comfortable feel these things are motion or interactions are there which is these words are used in the poem when you will read the poem weather condition or geographical features uh wing uh, this poem is a uh, based on the weather conditions so in the month of november for on uh, for the city of london so here the sunday sun moon sky earthly view land oceans coast park warmth shade or sign these are the weather condition or geographical geographical features living creatures and plants people company nobility member butterflies bees fruits flowers leaves and birds so these are the comes under the living creatures or the plants so students this is all about today's work just to make a uh, note of it and tomorrow i'll explain another part of the question answer